five highly forgiving driver models, new in 2021. We've got them here today and we've got Jackie did some shots. We're gonna see how they perform on TrackMan. <laughs> Hey golfers, Drew Mahold, the second swing golf here. I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, a master fitter at the Minnetonka location. We are outside today on the driving range at Les Bullside Golf Course, and we've got five highly forgiving driver models released here in 2021. In my hand, I've got the Ping D425 Max. She's holding the PXG 0211, and we've also got the Callaway Epic Max. We've got the Titleist TSI 1. We have the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max. So we're gonna test all five today with the help of Jackie Johnson's golf swing and we're gonna see how they perform on TrackMan. And so, Jackie, before you hit some shots, I wanted to get your opinion on just these drivers in general in 2021. It's a good year for drivers. Um, you've been fitting customers into these models all year. What do you think we're gonna to see today? Yeah, I mean, with the 12 degrees aloft, we're definitely gonna see a little yeah. bit more spin, a little bit higher trajectory. Uh, but when it comes to these heads, uh, you know, all of them are gonna be definitely forgiving, uh, very comparable mm -hmm. in numbers is what I expect. Uh, I typically drive the ball around 240. I'd expect us to see, you know, around that 220 mark with the loft and the spin mm -hmm. that we're going to see with these. But yeah, let's take a look and see what we get. Uh, so before we get started, I'm going to clarify on the golf shaft we're using today. It's the Aldilla AV Green 55 gram regular flex shaft, 45 inches in length. We're going to use the all fit system today uh, to use the same shaft for each driver. So we'll have a pretty good test. Are you ready to hit some bombs? Let's go. That was good too. Yeah, that's poked. Kind of had a couple that were kind of high ball flights and then a little bit lower on that one. All right, so Jackie, PXG 0211. Um, just first give me the feedback and your thoughts on how it looks, how it feels, um, you know, the kind of maybe you know, what kind of confidence does it inspire? Yeah, uh, I like the look of it for sure. I like the matte uh, finish there, uh, the black and the gray. Uh, and I would say feel wise, I mean, it felt good, mm -hmm. uh, has a distinct sound though. It does. Yes. Very loud. Uh, but yeah, overall, definitely not bad. Uh, like the, you know, I had a couple errant shots, but overall it was pretty decent ball flight for mm -hmm. a 12 degree driver. So yeah, it was just, you had a, kind of the tendency was a little bit left miss. I think you had one that was kind of yeah. a little bit farther left than the others, but um, spin was just over, it was 3270, um, total distance 222, so kind of right yeah. where you were thinking, heading into the test, um, carry 203, and so, I mean, your launch angle is 15.9, so I mean, that's, you know, you got the 12 degree driver, so that's going to be inflated a little bit, but, yep. I mean, overall, it's, yeah, it's pretty solid, pretty solid performer. Yeah. So now we can move on, what do you want to do next? We got your choice Let's here. Let's go ping. Ping G425 Max, all right. That was a pull. What? All right, so ping at G425 Max. Now, so both of the drivers so far, Jackie, have had kind of that, that matte black finish on the crown. Yep. Um, how do those, you know, how do the two heads compare looks wise? Um, and then we can talk about some of the numbers here. Yeah, very similar. PXG is a little bit like flatter. Okay. Uh, when you have the ping, it's got the turbulators on the top. Oh, yeah. So that's the main difference in look there. Feel wise, I'd say very comparable. Uh, the PXG is a little bit louder. Uh, and you know, the ping is the ping when it comes yeah. to sound, but very forgiving, both of them. So I'd say for me, feel wise, not, not too far off. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we can talk about the, the performance here. I mean, your club speed, very similar, right around 88 miles an hour. Um, the, the G425 max did spin a little bit more. Um, so about three to two to 300 RPM more. So that kind of is a little bit of a drop in distance there, about four yards of carry and about six yards of total distance. Um, but both clubs are kind of, you know, tendency is a little bit left of center. So 
Um, maybe that could be due with that loft to being able to square it up a little bit easier or perhaps that pull tendency. But yep. um, overall, they're, they are pretty comparable so far. So um, now we can move on to we'll use TaylorMade Sim 2 Max here. All right. Woo! That went high. Jeez. Yeah, this thing's ballooning just a little bit more than the other two, I think. Yeah. They're a little straighter, though. All right, so the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max, Jackie. Um, I think we right away, I mean, we noticed differences from the, the first two models to the Sim 2 Max. I think a lot of it was due to the ball flight, a little bit higher, right, yeah. right off the bat. And yeah. so um, just first get your, you know, your feedback again on look and feel that, and then kind of the Sim 2 family as a whole, because they, it does have kind of a distinct look to it. Yeah. Um, well, I, I currently have in my bag the Sim Max, so obviously the look is very familiar for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the look at a dress for sure. Uh, as far as feel, I mean, it felt good. I just knew that when I was hitting it, yeah. I was, it was just going really high off the gate and very spinny. But uh, yeah, I, not a bad like feeling shot sure. at, with those five shots I was taking. So Okay, so interesting because so with the 0211 PXG, spin was about 3,200, went up to 3,500 with the G425 Max, and then it's actually over 4,000 with the same yeah. two Max. So pretty big jump in spin there. And then height, of course, did the same thing where it went uh, over 100 feet that time, 106 feet in the air. The other two were right around 86. So uh, that thing is just launching high in the air. I yeah. mean, and that is to know, I mean, we should note that. That is, someone does need extra launch in the air, extra height in the air. Yeah. Sim 2 Max, at least based on this test, um, is the, the choice if someone does need just to really get that ball in the air. Yep. Um, but interesting, I mean, that was also probably the straightest so far. So, I mean, there's give, give and take, not as far, a little straighter higher in the air so um now we got two more models we can compare it to we can go with epic max here see how that compares to those previous right. three that's a good ball yeah jackie callaway epic max Again, ask you for your feedback on that look and feel. For sure, a different looking club head. Um, yeah. You got the glossy black look on top there. So how does that look compared to the others? Yeah, I like the look of it. Uh, sleek look for sure. And, you know, feel mm. and, and sound. Uh, I'd say it's definitely quieter than yeah. the others. I mean, mm -hmm. it, 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 it sounds very similar to the Sim. Yeah. I mean, it but, wasn't as, to me, it wasn't as brash, I guess, yeah. as the other three models you yeah. hit so far. Yeah, sounded good, felt good. It was pretty forgiving as well, mm -hmm. as you'd expect. But, yeah, overall, um, even on some of my bad shots, it ended up working out. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you, you swung this one just a little bit faster than the others so far. Uh, a little bit jump in club speed. So that probably helped with some speed, some spin increase. So it's actually a 3,400 spin, which is comparable to the 0211. Um, but distance wise, 205 carry, 220 total. So that's kind of in the middle so far. Yep. Um, kind of up there closer to the 0211 while the other two, the Sim 2 Max and D425 Max were kind of hanging a little bit behind. But um, uh, in terms of height as well, it also really kept up with Sim 2 Max in height as well. So a couple of high launching drivers there. Yeah. Uh, the Epic Max, the Sim 2 Max. So. Um, I mean, any other feedback on that on that driver there? Anything else that uh, comes to mind? Because I mean, you're, again, your dispersion map, they're all kind of on top of each other. There's a little bit of some trends going on, but um, other than the Sim 2 Max, all of them are kind of hanging just a little bit left. Yeah, no, uh, I'd say nothing too crazy to yeah. talk about. I think I, I'd expect I expected a little bit of this for sure. Sure. Okay. So, um, but Cause again, it's certainly a different loft and look yeah. than you're looking, you know, used to looking at yeah. it with your driver. I mean, that's going to change things a little bit for you, but. Um, with that said, Titleist TSI-1, last one we got today. All right. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, that's a pretty straight ball. That, I kind of think that, that sounds like a lot like the Callaway, I think. Yeah, it does. After one swing. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds a lot like the Callaway, the Epic Max. Wow. 
Okay, so Jackie, Titleist TSI-1, um, I, the consistency on that club in yeah. these five shots was truly remarkable. Um, again, the, the feedback I had in sound was that it sounded very similar to the Epic Max. Um, and then look-wise, again, it's got that, that kind of glossy black, also similar to the Epic Max. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely uh, looks very similar to that Callaway. Uh, I'd say it's a little bit more um, rounded than the mm -hmm. Callaway. Okay. Callaway's got a little bit more like like a triangular top, type. Like yeah, the top line's a little bit like flatter okay. versus this is like a little bit more circular. But um, yeah, I liked everything about it honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe that was what caught you know. <laughs> I mean, I hit so many shots like the same, oh, very yeah. identical. They are. I mean, I this map is is truly something. Uh, I'm gonna expand it quick just so the viewers can see what I'm looking at here. And you'll see, so the, the brown circle is the t Titleist TSI-1. You can see there are three of them that are all touching each other on the map. The three, uh, three, three dots that are touching each other, and then two that are you know within five, 10 yards of each yeah. other. So clearly based on dispersion, Titleist TSI-1 is the winner of this, just because of how st super small that oval is. Uh, and then we can discuss some of the numbers here, but um, when you were hitting that shot or hitting that club, did you? I mean, did you feel that consistency and that? Oh yeah, I knew it was going the same direction every yeah. single time. Um, I yeah, I I wouldn't have expected it honestly. I yeah. thought I was gonna hit this one at the beginning, probably the highest, mm -hmm. but it's actually more consistent and pretty decent ball flight. Mm -hmm. uh, which, if I were to say at the beginning, if that would have been the case, I don't think I would have picked the TS one to do that so yeah yeah so i mean actually it, it was the highest ball flight um, as well uh two feet higher than the sim2 max yeah. at 108 feet so um you were right about that and then in terms of distance it was 217 on average total uh, which places it right about kind of third right in the middle yeah. of the pack here um and then in terms of spin again 3700 which is also sort of kind of in the middle there maybe a little bit on the higher side but um interesting that i'm just i'm in awe of this that just the consistency that that club produced well and yeah and and when you're getting a driver fitting i mean a lot most of the time when you're talking about what's the most important piece it is dispersion yeah you know um if you can get it in the fairway uh you're gonna be able to score better that's mm -hmm. just a fact right so um you know obviously i think when it comes to distance you know what i like more distance in this case yeah and, and a lot of that is just loft right yeah so but I, I think overall, I mean, yeah, how can you not take the TSI one in this test? <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, so, I mean, you mentioned you kind of the distance versus accuracy. Yeah. Um, looking at the numbers here, the, the farthest driver average distance was actually PXG 0211. Uh, but then looking at the map, that's that blue circle. I believe it's the largest circle as yeah. well. So there's that kind of give and take there of, well, you have, you know, what, five to 10 maybe extra yards with the PXG 0211 on average compared to the others, but it's not as consistent. Yeah. Whereas the other one's a little more consistent, maybe not quite as far. So in that, this category with the golfers that fit into these clubs most often, you're just trying to get the ball into the air and down the fairway essentially. Yep. So uh, this is, I mean, these drivers are, are really good performers. We saw the consistency, we saw the forgiveness, the high launch, easy launch. And first of all, thank you to you for kind of bearing with it and you know, the 12 degree Heads are not something that you're used to hitting, but we the only PXG 0211 we had was a 12 degree, yep. so we kind of had to mix and match a little bit, but um, very good stuff and kind of what we expected, but then I'm just, an, again, in awe of the TSI-1 dispersion yeah. today. I, I think total distance, definitely what I expected. Yeah. So that was good to see, like, the comparison of that um, and the height and spin. Like, I expected all the numbers that we did get yeah. to be what we did. Uh, so, but it was, fun to see which one would be a little bit more in that tighter dispersion. So yeah. uh, I wouldn't say I'm surprised, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, the TSI-1 has been a great performer yeah. as all of these have been fitting. So that's not, it's not a big surprise to see it perform like that. But um, I mean, again, golfers interested in a you know highly forgiving, high launching driver in 2021. Uh, any of these five models are great options. And of course, as you can see on this test anyway, TSI-1 is the most consistent uh, of these five. But any of these are gonna be great options. Um, I would suggest you know, scheduling a fitting with any of our expert fitters at Second Swing, whether in store or online uh, over the phone. So uh, Jackie, thank you for hitting all the shots today. Great 
great performance uh, by your swing, but also all the clubs today. Really good stuff. Great data here. Yeah. Thank you for having me.